I don't know if you guys remember when Kellyanne Conway, who is Trump's spokesperson, um, went on and defended, I think she was defending Sean Spicer, and she said, you know, he, he didn't, he, he got the, the wrong number of people at the inauguration, but he was using alternative facts, right? Um, and I thought that was a, a, a real serious gaffe, you know? I, I did not feel like, oh, whatever, it's just, it's just Trump being Trump. Um, I thought, you know, there's no such thing as alternative facts, but everybody talked like that was this unprecedented explosive thing. It's never happened before, but our politics for a while has been exactly about alternative facts. We've had any number of um, versions of this, right? The, the narrative was right, but the facts were wrong. That was in the Crystal Magnum case um, when, when uh, this black stripper accused uh, Duke lacrosse players of raping her. It turned out to be false. One of the editors of Newsweek said the narrative was right, but the facts were wrong. Uh, we had Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said, you know, there's a lot more people concerned about being precisely factually and semantically correct than about being morally right, right? This idea that factual truth is uh, is is a an inconvenience, right, for our moral crusade, which is in, in incoherence, right? Because of course, if your crusade is truly moral, then the facts will support it, right? Or at least you will have a factual way of, of pursuing your moral crusade, right? I mean, Back in 2004, uh, Dan Rather put forward false allegations um, against George W. Bush. This is called the Killian Memos. Um, the New York Times published a story. Memos on Bush are fake but accurate. So all I'm saying here by sort of citing all these political uh, news headlines is to point you toward the deeper truth that, in fact, our politics finds true and false inconvenient. And to me, the, the great apogee of this is calling men, men and women, women, right? Saying that, you know, Leah Thomas is not a woman who should be on the women's swim team, right? But is in fact a biological male who, you know, that changes identity and so forth. Like these things, which are becoming things that you actually will suffer consequences for saying, um, are just basic observations of reality. And I wanted to raise them and this kind of post-truth world that we're living in by sh to show that the situation Socrates uh, describes, Plato Socrates describes, is very much our situation as it was Athens situation. And there's always somebody uh, who can, there's always something you can get by lying, right? Always something you can get by uh, making up sophisticated arguments for why true and false really don't matter. And uh, it's always inconvenient for somebody to say, nope, one is one and two is two and one plus one equals two.